Have you ever seen these buttons? They're all over the internet, making signing up for all sorts of products and services quick, easy, and pain-free. But after reading the title, viewing the thumbnail, and clicking on this video, it'll come as no surprise to you that actually, these buttons are a serious threat to your privacy and security. In this video, we're gonna look at what happens when you click them and why they're the billion dollar secret behind Facebook, Google, and other online advertising platforms. Part one, your data. Ah, the good old login with Facebook button. A beacon of convenience for the lazy and a gold mine of data for third party websites. With just one click, you're giving away your entire digital life, which if anything, is pretty convenient if that was your aim. When you click this button, it can get your name, email, profile picture, and entire friends list. Oh, and let's not forget your location and browsing history. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. But wait, there's more. These buttons can also get access to your personal information, such as your search history, app usage, IP, and even the microphone and camera on your device. Also, a bunch of strangers can track your every move and target you with adverts and content. And if that wasn't enough, they can sell that information to third parties. Convenient, right? Part two, how do these buttons work? Here comes the science bit. Well, voiceover Simon, there are two sides to this coin. When you click one of these buttons, you're giving third party websites, in this example, we'll go with Spotify, access to your data. Clicking this button logs you in quickly. Yeah, I can see that. But it also gives Spotify access to all of your Facebook data. And you're also giving Facebook access to all of your listening data. This is done through a process called OAuth, or Open Authorization, which allows websites sites and apps to access your information without having to get your password. To be fair, that is the only bit of data they don't want from you because they'd actually have to store that securely. Once a third party website has access to your information, they can use it for a variety of purposes, which they do technically tell you about in their unreadable terms of service. For example, they may use your name, email address, and profile picture to create an account for you on their website, or they may use your location to show you content that's relevant in your area like single women who want to talk to you, or famously ethical insurance companies. However, this information can also be used to track your online behavior and target you with ads and content. And it can also be sold to third parties who might use it to decide if you have the right opinions to get the job you wanted or the flat you wanted to rent. Think of it like this. When you go to a party, you might ask the host if you can use their toilet. They might ask for your name before you take a dump in their freshly cleaned bathroom. Well, the login with Facebook or Google buttons are the party hosts, and you're asking them for access to their content or toilet to which they reply sure but by using the toilet you're giving the host permission to go through your coat jacket and jeans pockets and you're giving them permission to sell whatever they discover to their friendly advertising partners and of course because you're time poor and just bust in to do a shit you just want access to the bathroom and so don't read their terms of service when prompted you just click accept sit down and start to browse spotify while taking a dump i feel like i've mixed my metaphors but you get my point Right? Part three, advantages for Facebook. Okay, so it's not just Facebook, it's any of these buttons, but we're gonna use them as an umbrella term. These buttons are a win-win for Facebook and a lose-lose for you. Lions and tigers and bears. Okay, Editor Simon, we get it. Stop putting that clip in as it's disrupting the flow of the video. Lions and tigers and bears. Fuck you. Facebook benefit from you clicking these buttons in a number of ways. Firstly, it acts as an insurance policy for them. If you need a Facebook account to access your Spotify account, for example, you're far less likely to post an offensive thing on Facebook for fear of being kicked off the platform and losing access to multiple apps and tools. Secondly, more data. Facebook receives more data about you from your activity on Spotify, which it can use to improve its own services, as well as show you more targeted ads and content that you might be interested in. Of course, this leads to more ad revenue. Facebook can increase the number of people who see and click on its ads and target you in a much more invasive way. And finally, data profiling. Oh yeah, it's not just about the short-term monetary gain. Oh no, Facebook gets to profile you like never before. The more data Facebook has on you, the more they can predict your wants and needs and next steps in life. This means that not only do they know what you need before you do, they also know the best way and time and mood to put you in to challenge your worldview. And in return, you get a convenient login button. 
How lovely. Basically, we live in an attention economy where every second of your life is up for grabs. So whenever a company that uses your attention and data to pay its bills offers you a way to save time, ask yourself, are they really doing this out of the goodness of their hearts? Or are they saving you time so they can steal that and your data in the future? Spoiler. It's always the latter. Part four, the negative impact. Now, you might be thinking, where's the harm in giving a website access to all my data? I trust them. Firstly, why do you trust them, me in a hat? They've done nothing to earn that trust. In fact, historically, they've shown the exact opposite. When you click login with Facebook buttons, it's like giving away your personal diary to a complete stranger without knowing what they're gonna do with it. Will they spill your secrets to your friends, sell it to the highest bidder, or just leave it open for hackers to see? The possibilities are endless and none of them are particularly desirable. So not only do you lose control of your data, but they can use your data in ways that you might not be comfortable with and make money off of it. And the companies buying it could reject your loan application to kickstart your dog hoover company. The poover, naturally. It's also one of those one click in, a billion clicks out kind of deals, which um, we're not really a fan of around here. That two seconds that you've saved is actually a massive risk to your privacy, security, and future. And that doesn't click right with me. Godspeed.